Good morning, happy campers. Good morning. Well, looks like we're just taking a few minutes here at Camp Wallow Bear to go through our mail. And uh, let's look at the old Camp Wallow Bear mailbox and see what, <gasps> a letter. We have a letter. And it's for my old buddy, old pal, the Wallow Bear. Would you like to read it? Well, you're a little shy, so I'll read it for you. What do you say? Okay, let's see what we got. Look, there's a picture. Look who it is. It's your old pal, Drug Free. Let's see what all your old pal, Drug Free, has to say. Dear Walla Bear, hello to Camp Walla Bear from the Prevention Forest. Thank you for writing me. I am excited about having you as my pen pal. So obviously you wrote him. You have? Okay, good. How is your camp? What fun things are you and your friends doing? All of us in the Prevention Forest are working on our clubhouse. You know it takes a long time to build a house, but with all of my friends helping, it is a lot of fun. We are learning to work together and everybody has a part to do. It's nice to have friends and to do happy, safe things with them. I hope you can get to do lots of fun, safe things with your friends at your camp. I got the picture of you and Counselor Carl. I am sending you a picture of me. See, see. Would you like to have a picture of all my friends who live in the Prevention Forest with me? It will be lots of fun writing to each other and sending you pictures and stories. I never had a pen pal before. Have you? Can you tell me more about some of the things that you do at camp? It must have been fun making cheese and then getting to eat it. Mmm. My friend Skippy said he would have liked to go on that adventure. In case I forgot to tell you, Skippy is a mouse. Do you have a clubhouse at your camp? We are going to have meetings and fun times in our clubhouse. Sometimes we just want a safe place to get together to play games or talk. We will also have jobs to do so that we can take care of our clubhouse. Beatrice to be is making up a list of jobs and we will all get one or two. All of us in the prevention forest would like for you to remind your friends that drugs can be very dangerous. The smart thing to do is to stay away from them. Help your friends find happy, safe things to do together and look out for each other. Please write me again soon. I will write you back to you. Your pal, Drug Free. Well, it sounds like Drug Free and all his pals in the prevention forest are having a swell time doing happy, safe things and staying away from drugs. Why don't we check in with Tommy the Swami and see what he can ponder on this subject. Greetings, curious one. I was just thinking about something wonderful. I was thinking about all the things that make me feel good. You know, like the sunshine on my face, or listening to the birds sing, or an ice cream cone, or something like that. I'll bet you can think of a lot of things that make you feel good, too. Hmm? But I know one thing that's not on my list, and should never, ever be on your list. Drugs. They can be very, 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 very bad. Some people might say that drugs can make you feel good, but that is a big bunch of baloney, so don't you believe it for one second. You don't need drugs to feel good. In fact, you can get high without drugs. Just watch. I'll think of something that makes me feel good, and I tell you what, you think of something that makes you feel good too, okay? Okay, okay. We're thinking, we're thinking, and whoa, look at that, holy catapult, we're getting really high. Whoa. Map. Whoa. Whoa. Oh boy, we got really, really high. But the best thing is, we did not need drugs to do it. Oh boy, I feel really good and really dizzy. And we're back, and we're over here at Picnic Park with a very special guest, Renita Brown. Good to see you. Happy Camper Anita. Thank you. Good morning, Counselor Carl. Well, good morning. And today, it looks like you brought us um, some examples of some bad stuff that, uh, you know, our happy campers, both here at camp and at home, need to know about as far as taking care of themselves and being safe. Yes, I did. Um, so, and these are just, you know, and they're just kind of like, uh, just for demonstration. Yes, right none there. of the drugs are, that are here are real. Okay, well, why don't we just kind of start here at the top, because this, okay. this looks... Uh, this looks pretty common. In fact, I've seen this on, on the desk out at the lodge. Uh, th this looks like that the stuff you put on when you make a mistake when you're writing. That's exactly what it is. It's liquid paper, but 
what we're finding out that a lot of our children are doing are in sniff, uh, inhaling it. And that's not good, is no, it? No, because it kills a lot of cells in the brain. Oh, that's not good. No. You know, you need your old brain to, yes, to be a do. smart, happy camper yes, because you if you don't have any brain cells, then you're not a very smart, happy camper, are you? No. Well, um, moving right along, uh, these look like, kind of look like cold pills, but I don't think those are what you take when you no. have a cold. No, and they look a lot like the good drugs, but they're not. These are called amphetamines, or some people call them uppers. Uppers. Speed, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. and they are not good at all. This is very deadly on the cardiovascular and the so respiratory system. if you were dumb enough to use these things, they would kind of make you jump around like you were kind of nutty and bouncing around, right? Do very crazy things, and that's, counselor call. And happy campers shouldn't do crazy things. No. Happy campers should use their old heads, right? Yes, you should always be in your right frame of mind, and that is without using drugs. Mm -hmm. Now, these kind of look like these, but they're they, smaller and, and a little different. They do resemble these, but these are called barbiturates or downers. And a person that uses these will have a very bad, as we call it, a crash. Once you come down, you are just totally depressed. Mm -hmm. And they are not good for you at all. Again, they cause this damage to the cardiovascular, reproductive system, and respiratory system. Mm -hmm. so, so, you, very bad. so, you know, you could take these and go to sleep and, like, never wake up. Never wake up, especially if you combined these with alcohol. Oh, that's bad. And so then, and, yes. and, and happy campers don't have any business messing around with any of this stuff. No, Not even alcohol. alcohol. And a lot of kids think alcohol isn't a drug because what? You can buy it out of the store. But this is the number one drug of choice by a lot of people. Well, that's that's a shame. Yes, it is. Um, now, th these kind of look like, uh, you know, w this is like, hmm, marijuana. Mm -hmm. That's not, that doesn't look that doesn't look real happy. No, this is very bad too. In fact, marijuana cigarettes are more deadlier than regular cigarettes, which are bad too. You shouldn't smoke, nor should you use these. Some kids might recognize the name. They call it joints or Aretha mm -hmm. or Roach or something like mm -hmm. that. But anytime someone offers you one of these, you should say no, you, no, no. You should say no, and you probably should find either, you know, someone like a grown-up right. uh, or, you know, and tell, or, or a teacher and, and tell them all about it and, and, and stay as far away from that stuff as you can possibly do. Yes, because this kills the brain cells, and once your brain cells die, they never come back. Mm, that's terrible. That is. Well, the, this looks pretty nasty here. This looks like something you'd, you'd, you'd stick in your arm. That is, that is exactly what it's used for. This is a syringe, and a lot of people that use drugs inject it in their arm. Well, I tell you, I wouldn't stick anything in my arm. Would you, happy campers? No, no, not at all. Very Ooh, bad. That's bad news right there. Mm -hmm. And the sad part about it, a lot of these people, they will share the needle with other people. That's not very clean. No, and it's that's not, not a good idea. Number one, it's not a very good idea to stick anything in your arm. Number two, you don't want to stick something in your arm that somebody else is stuck in their arm. Right. You have no business doing that. No. Well, I tell you, that's. I'm. I'm. I'm glad you came and visited us because this you. is something that we need to know about. Because a lot of this isn't good stuff. No. Now there are some good drugs though that I want to point out, like prescription drugs, which the doctor gives you. Right. Or if you had a cold, cough syrup that your mom would give you, but you never should take drugs on your own. You never should go to the medicine cabinet and get something yourself. Right. Always check with a grown-up. And only if you've got a cold or a fever or right. something. You don't feel good if the doctor says so or your mom says so. Right. Well, we, we'd like to thank you a lot. Thanks a lot for having Come me. Come back and see us anytime. I will. Well, hey there. Looks like you caught me working on something big. But since I'm a big businessman, I'm always working on something big. That's why they call it big business. And I need to talk some big business with you. Big, serious business. Now, you've got the ability to reach your full potential. You could become a great athlete. You could be a teacher, a doctor, or even a tycoon like me. But if you mess with drugs, you're wasting all that potential. Now, suppose you had a $100 bill. Now, would you take that $100 bill and 
flush it down the toilet? Heck no! You see, your ability is like that $100 bill. It's very, very valuable. But if you get mixed up with drugs, your future is going to spin around the bowl and down the hole. So take it from old J. Walter Wallbank. Flush proof your potential by staying away from drugs. Keep plugging. And always remember that you're never too small to think big. Stick around, we'll be right back. We're back. Well, boys and girls, I know this morning you've been talking about drugs and you've looked at those drug boards. And uh, this morning I'd like to add a few things about drugs, some of the situations that you may fall into later on. Drugs can be very hazardous, and I think we all need to know some of the things that could happen to us when we're out playing with our friends and as we get older. And I'd like to talk about some of those situations today. You know, when you're out playing with your friends, you need to be aware sometimes when people try to get you to do things, it's not always in your best interest. If you have a friend later on in life and he comes up to you with drugs, he's liable to try to pressure you into taking drugs. And we need to know the warning signs anytime this happens. It could be a situation when you're out playing one day and a friend comes up to you and says, I've just got these drugs from another friend of mine. Let's go over here and do them. And of course, we know what we're going to say. We're going to say no. But this friend of yours, this so-called friend, he's liable to try to take it a step further. He's liable to try to threaten you or say, well, if you don't go over here with me and do these drugs, you're not going to be my friend anymore. Or I'm going to go tell everybody that you're doing something bad and they're trying to threaten you and pressure you into doing these drugs. And we need to realize that if this ever happens to us, we're not going to fall for those kind of tricks. You know, a lot of times people tell you lies about drugs, and we need to realize that if you want the truth about drugs, you can, you can go ask your mom or dad, or if you ever go to the doctor, you can ask him about it, and they'll tell you the truth. But remember, any time a stranger or someone who's supposed to be your friend tries to get you to do drugs, tell them you've got something more important to do and that you don't hang around or play with anybody that does drugs. And if they ever try to pressure you into doing something like that, remember what it is they're trying to do and think back when I spoke to you and it gives you the warning signs about things like that. Well, these are some of the things that you can be on the lookout for. When, when you're out playing with your friends, you know, sometimes there's days that we don't feel good. But if you notice a friend that always seems depressed or he's always asking to borrow money and he's hanging around with strange new kids and they always seem to be passing packages back and forth, that's a pretty good indication that your friend may be involved in drugs. And you need to be very watchful for situations like that. Think about it. Do you want to get involved with a friend that may be doing drugs seriously? You can get into a lot of trouble. And then when they see you hanging around with someone that's on drugs, they might think you're involved in it too. If you see these kind of warning signs, you may try talking to your friend. Or maybe it's time to go find a new set of friends. You have to be very careful when you're out in public and with your friends nowadays. There's people out there that'll try to get you to buy drugs so they can get your money, and it only leads to trouble. If, you're, if you ever have any questions about what some of your friends may be doing, remember, you can always go back to your parents. So try to be watchful when you're out with your friends playing. And speaking of friends, I've got a friend with Mobile Police Department, and he's very knowledgeable when it comes to drugs. And at this time, I'd like to ask him if he can come over and tell us a few things about drugs also. And I think everybody knows who I'm talking about. It's McGruff the Crime Dog. McGruff? Crime Dog here with a few words about drugs and alcohol. It seems there's an awful lot of kids nowadays who'll try any kind of poison that their so-called friends offer them. They'll do it without even thinking. 
They should know better than to put something into their bodies that could hurt them. And they should be strong enough to say no to anyone who offers them drugs and alcohol. I know it can be pretty hard to say no when your friends are really pushing you to do something, but ask yourself this. Would a genuine friend want you to try something that's going to hurt you? No way. Listen to this song. It might give you some things to say when someone offers you alcohol and drugs. My buddies told me I should try some stuff. They said, we'll have us some kicks. I said I didn't want to mess with that Cause my head's not full of bricks Don't be a fool by acting cool Just open your eyes They're not your friends if in the end They're telling you lies They said the only way to find out what it's like Is just by taking a turn I said but I don't have to set myself on fire to find out if I will burn. Don't be a fool by acting cool. Just open your eyes. They're not your friends if in the end they're telling you lies. Don't be a fool by acting cool. Just open your eyes. They're not your friends, if in the end, they're telling you lies. I hope all of you will think twice about using drugs and alcohol. If you know it's bad for you, don't touch it. I don't want you to get involved with anything that could hurt you. Be smart and say no to drugs and alcohol. That's another way to help me... Take a bite out of crime. Bye. The news is next. This is a Camp Walla Bear special edition of Action News 10. Good morning, happy campers. I'm Eleanor Reynolds, and this is Walla Bear News. The award-winning Davidson High School bands took the stage at the USA Sanger Theater in Mobile this week for a special musical performance. Members of both the concert band and the symphonic band played their hearts out for family and friends. You may remember that back in March, the bands played New York's Carnegie Hall. And while at the Sanger Theater, they played some of the selections that wowed audiences in New York. Great going, you guys. You're terrific. Keep up the good work. How many of you out there love going to the dentist? How many of you don't? Well, like it or not, we all need to go to keep our teeth healthy and clean. Here's Octavia Edwards getting his teeth cleaned. But check this out. This is also Octavia Edwards in the same dentist's office playing video games. There's a dentist in this country who might be starting a whole new approach to mixing pain with pleasure. He contends playing these games before and after sitting in the dentist's chair can relax children. That allows you little guys to get the care you need instead of going without it. Hey, it's something to think about. Soon many of you will be out of school. Vacation time. Here's a neat place to see. The Johnson shut-ins near Lesterville, Missouri, a natural canyon-like gorge formed millions of years ago by river erosion. It's called the shut-in because this is where the Black River is trapped or shut in. A quick dip and you won't be sweating anymore. It's really cold. If you should go, avoid the weekends. Only a limited number of folks are allowed in at a time. And be sure to wear your sneakers to keep from hurting yourself or getting stuck in the rocks. Sure looks like fun. That's Walla Bear News for today. I'm Eleanor Reynolds. Thanks for joining us. And remember, study hard, obey your parents, and be kind to your brothers and sisters. Bye-bye. Was that swell or what? Yes! We'd like to thank Renita Brown for sharing with us lots of things that we shouldn't even think about messing with. And we'd like to thank McGruff and Officer Goodwin for uh, spending some time with us. And uh, happy campers, what did we learn here today? We learned that it's okay to say no and that there's some drugs 
that are very, very bad. There are a lot of drugs that are very, very bad, but there's some things that are good, right? Tell us what you think. Just write us here at Camp Walla Bear at P.O. Box 1548, Mobile, Alabama, 36633. Send us anything. Send us your knock-knock jokes. Send us your riddles. Send us videotapes. Send us pictures. Whatever. Send us your thoughts. But if we use it on the air, you'll get one of these Wastewell Camp Walla Bear t-shirts. So, until next time, happy campers. See ya! <laughs> Self-respect, bro.